Welcome, welcome. Come on in to today's word of encouragement. Come on in. Find yourself uh, relaxing in the presence of the Lord. Center yourself. Get focused. Invite him into your space. Let's do that together. Heavenly Father, as we gather through the airwaves today, we ask you to join us be part of our prayer this morning, this afternoon as we open our Bibles and we read your word. May it be inscribed into our hearts. Lord, give us a teachable heart. And Lord, examine us. And if there's anything not of you, we ask you, Lord, to cleanse our heart. In Jesus' name. And Lord, as we go out among others, let us share your word. Let us testify of your greatness, your faithfulness, and your enduring love in Jesus name. Amen. So come on in and join me. Take a moment just to share a word of encouragement with each other. I always enjoy reading your uh, comments down below. So please, please, I always enjoy reading them and responding back. So I enjoy that. Please, please share the comments. Um, if you follow me on YouTube, then subscribe and like. Um, the word of encouragement is always wonderful. Share this on your timeline. You just never know who needs this message. Perhaps they don't come across my timeline, but to do yours. So I invite you to share this word. Now, I never like to start my broadcast without saying what I am grateful for. So today it's Friday and yes, it's the last day of the work week, but I had today off. So that's even better. Also, on Fridays, I always start my morning with the Lord as always, but I start with a group, a corporate prayer that we do through Zoom, and it was just so wonderful this morning. It's undescribable, all the um, knowledge and revelation that was shared this morning in the group with from the Lord, and so I want to thank the Lord for that today. And I'm sitting here, um, it, it's a slower pace, I'm able, it's still kind of uh, I would say misting outside and cold, but I've seen people go by and just exercising and just going for walks, walking their dogs, walking with their spouse or family member. It's just wonderful. Just It's a very relaxing day, regardless of the temperature and actually all the misting that it's done all day. But people are out there and just social distancing here from, you know, walking. And it's just great to see that they're getting out and about. So I'm glad to see that. So today's devotional is is entitled do good unto all men by vance jackson and it's a reflection of galatians 6 and 10 and the king james version goes like this as we have therefore opportunity let us do good unto all men especially unto them who are of the household of faith so it's saying to us choose to do good unto all men let his light shine through your deeds and actions. Let the light of Christ be revealed through your words and actions towards each other. Let his love flow through your heart. Show others the love of Christ by showing mercy to those who have done you wrong. Choose to love and forgive freely. When you have the opportunity to do good, choose to do good. So Galatians 6 and 10, the Amplified Version reads, declares, So then, as occasion and opportunity open up to us, let us do good morally to all people, not only being useful or profitable to them, but also doing what is for their spiritual good and advantage. Be mindful of to be a blessing, especially to those of the household of faith, those who belong to God's family with you, the believers. Be mindful to do good to others. Choose to be a spiritual and natural blessing to others. When it's in your power to do good, extend grace, extend to them loving kindness of God through your actions. Let your life stand as a living example of God's faithfulness, gentleness, and living kindness. So Galatians 6 and 10, New Living Translation, therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially to those in the family of faith. 
So some things we could do is to choose to be selfless, to be mindful to of others, let the past go, surrender to Christ and freely, freely forgive, release the pain of the past and be free. Also, in, in, when we read from New Living Translation, Paul, in this particular verse, Paul is telling us, it, it, you know, he's reminding us that it could be, maybe you feel this way sometimes, especially through this period that uh, so many have had so many dark days, day after day with this COVID and, and all the situations that so many people have experienced job losses, family losses, they can't be with them in their final moments. Um, a special occasions have been retimed. So life events like marriages that were planned, weddings and all those kind of things, not being able to be there for a birth of a child, um, you know, and just because of all that's going on. And Paul is telling us, um, don't be discouraged. Someone out there needs help. Now you may not see it right away. You may not receive maybe even a thank you or see anything tangible, a tangible results from your good deeds. But he says, like he told the Galatians, and he challenges us today. This word applies to us today, not to give up and to keep doing good and to share, to trust in God for the results. In due time, he will reap, we will reap harvest in due time, in God's time. God's never late. He does it with no delay. God knows when it's the right time. He has the game plan for our individual lives, for each and every one of our individual lives. And God's the only one. We may think at times that God is late, but that's not true. Everything's perfectly timed to God's timing, not our timing. We have this thing about always being rushed. And this came out in our prayer session today, and it just fit with what was being talked about today. Sometimes we get so anxious about not seeing results. And God's not late. God has perfect timing. We need to understand that we need to align to his timing, not ours, not our will, but his will. And I encourage you to continue to share and do good for someone. Pray to the Lord. Just now say, Heavenly Father, as I come across family members, folks I work with, others in my community, let me discern that they are in need and, and share a good word of encouragement with them so that it'll brighten their day and get them through the day. There are so many people struggling. And so I ask you to remember, don't worry about the results. In due time, you will see the harvest of your hard work. Trust, trust, trust in God Do with no delay. With no delay, God is never late. His his timing is perfect. I want to thank you for joining me today. And again, I, I invite you to share this video on your timeline. Whatever media that you are um, seeing it through, I encourage you to share this from someone. You never know who may need it, especially during the holiday seasons, especially because of this difficult time or this difficult year that we've been through. We've all been tested in so many ways, and we just want to continue to stay on that narrow path with the Lord. And he will get us through that in due time, his time, perfect timing without delay. So I never like to leave my broadcast without asking you, or giving you the opportunity to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior. If you've never known him as, as your Savior, now is the time. It's an opportunity. Whenever you come across this message, it's an opportunity for you to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior. Now, if you backslided and your faith has gone flat, and you want to find your way back home. It's your opportunity to. And you're not just saving your soul. You're saving all those that, you know, they 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 take from you. They watch you every day. It could be your children, your grandchildren. It could be brothers, sisters, other family members, people you work with. You never know who's watching and just wanting to be a part of what you've become. So I encourage you today, all you have to do is repeat after me and I'm extend my hand out to you virtually. Gracious God, just repeat after me. I am a sinner. Please forgive me for my sins. I believe Jesus died for me and by his blood, 
I am forgiven. I ask you, Jesus, to live inside of me. Cleanse my heart. Give me a new heart. Take over my life. I make you the Lord and Savior of my life. Amen. Amen. If you're not sure what to do after praying that prayer, not sure how to walk as a new believer, just leave me a comment down below. I absolutely, your comments encourage me so much. And so I encourage you to leave me a comment down below. You can direct message me and I will call you back and we can talk about this and pray about this. So don't forget, God cares about you and loves you and he walks with you all the time. All you have to do is acknowledge him. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for inviting me into your private time of prayer. Be blessed until tomorrow. Bye now.